Препорачувате, имате неколку препораки кои се однесуваат на реформи во затворите, особено на реформи во затворот и Дрисов. Yes. Uh, in the report that we published today, we stress that uh, there have been some improvements in the uh, prison field, and particularly when it comes to some refurbishments, uh, Skopje, uh, Stip, and Prilek prisons. But the main preoccupation of our committee still uh, resides uh, with the situation that we found once again at the prison. And this is a panoply of problems that have been uh, object of our recommendations since at least, I think, 2006. And it refers to the closed regime section, so the closed section regime, the old building of the result prison, where there are high levels of overcrowding, still uh, no cell allocation system, pervasive corruption of staff, uh, unhygienic conditions, distribution of food only once a day, and occasionally also cases of physical treatment of uh, persons, difficult prisoners by staff, with their informal segregation for an indefinite period of time. All these recommendations, unfortunately, in this situation has not been addressed, despite some improvements that have been noted in the report. Willite da se izbegnat, da se izbegne v sušnost javna izjava, dobro je da se implementirat ovije reformi. Zašto sakate da se izbegne ta izjava koja vi je bija dale? This refers to a specific procedure which is enshrined in our conventions that allows the committee uh, to give a public statement uh, and to publish uh, a report uh, without the agreement of the uh, of the state in case of uh, infringement and uh, uh, long-standing lack of cooperation by the authorities. So this is a procedure that has been open since uh, 2020. Uh, for the time being, uh, the committee has decided not to issue such a public statement because there have been certain reassurances uh, by the authorities uh, uh, and commitments, in particularly when it comes to the improvement or in the future, the improvement of the situation at Rizzo Prison. And in particular, this refers to the fact that the government of North Macedonia has agreed to build uh, and to reconstruct Rizzo, as you know, through a loan by the Council of Europe Development Bank. And we think that this is the main solution for the problems and the issues that I've been uh, mentioning before. So a solution to the situation in Grosso Prison can only be uh, found through the funding of this project and, uh, and this loan, which is be to be disposed by the Council of Development Bank and the construction of a new establishment, of course, also, and the staffing of the prison by professional staff. So no staff which is politically selected, staff that is merit-based selected, that is competent, and then is able to carry on uh, one of the most difficult tasks, uh, which is the one of prison management. Koliko dolgo će čekati ovije reformi da bidat implementirani? Imate li nekakvi rokovi? There is no deadline per se, but uh, uh, the, we follow the situation with uh, uh, great interest and uh, with a certain periodicity, so we will... Uh, we can envisage anyway that we will uh, uh, come uh, most likely anyway to more North Macedonia in the in the near future, knowing also that there will be new authorities and new government in place, and we'll pursue our dialogue. So it is something that we pursue and we continue uh, uh, in dialogue with the authorities with the continuous dialogue. Uh, so there will there there is no deadline per se anyway. We follow very close the situation, and as I said before. The only solution is the construction of uh, new uh, sections at uh, Itrisovo Prison and to be section to be put under a competent prison management. Uh, if there is no such solution anyway, most likely anyway, the, the committee will be forced nothing else than to issue a public statement. Pak ve prašuvam okolo rokovite, koji se vašite posledni, posledni rokovi? It depends from the from the developments anyway that uh, we will uh, see and we will monitor in the coming months. It's a, as I said, it's a continuous dialogue. So there, there is no deadline per se. We yes. follow the situation. We know that there are certain commitments. Uh, there are certain also technical 
uh, deadlines concerning the tendering process of the new uh, of the con of the, for the construction works, uh, the appointment uh, of uh, uh, implementation project unit for this uh, for this project, and we are following uh, it closely. And if it stands on its feet. Uh, it is certainly a positive development. So we hope anyway that this will be the case and that the new authorities are So we take this uh, uh, project uh, with the utmost urgency and attention. Govorite vo izvještajot za loš odnos na policijata i sega mojoto prašanje je točno da specifizirate na što sta, za što stanu vas zbor, na što mislite. This, uh, uh, it means uh, that uh, um, Regardless of some uh, um, reforms that have been taken and some, uh, I would say, also implementation of our recommendation with the issuance, for example, of zero tolerance messages by the Ministry of Interior to, pol to police officers concerning the treatment of detained persons, we were still confronted with a number of allegations of physical treatment by the police in particular uh, uh, at the time of the arrest by intervention police groups. We found uh, medical evidence of this uh, uh, police ill treatment. And I would say the numbers, is the numbers of allegations is more or less similar to the ones that we found in 2019, 2020. So we came to the conclusion that despite certain efforts invested by the authorities, which are very genuine, uh, the situation has not improved. So we once again recommend the, in particular, the Ministry of Interior to continue to issue uh, zero tolerance messages, in particular to train police officers in manual techniques of uh, 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 recalcitrant uh, detained persons or difficult detained persons who oppose resistance to arrest. And also we issue specific recommendations when it comes to the investigation. So the investigative bodies were in charge of investigation of those incidents. We know there is a new tripartite external oversight mechanism. We think that the, this mechanism has the potential to carry out effective investigation, and we issue specific recommendations to this mechanism on how to conduct effective investigation. So there is some light uh, at the end of the tunnel in respect to this problem. We think that it can be tackled, and there is a commitment to do so, but our recommendations need to be uh, 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 implemented fully and uh, with no with no compromise. Što se odnosiva do ministerstvo za pravda, velite da ima prilično odgovornosti. The Ministry of Justice has a lot of responsibility yes when it comes to the uh, reform mm. in particular the reforms of the prison of the prison system that we've been advocating for a long time. I was as I was talking earlier on about the uh, situation in the prison. We are very much, we, here we recognize the, uh, invest, uh, the efforts that have been invested in particularly with the training of staff, the recruitment of new prison staff at the reservoir. But for us, the main issue remains, and we stress it in the report, the fight against corruption, the fight against corruption of staff uh, uh, within the prison system, and the appointment of prison manager, prison directors. They should be transparent, merit-based, and not necessarily linked anyway to party aff affiliations anyway. This is one of the most difficult uh, jobs in the public administration and really needs to be merit-based. The appointment of prison manager needs to be merit-based and prison manager, prison director should be under the hierarchical control of the prison administration, the Ministry of Justice. And this is something where uh, the authorities of North Macedonia still need anyway to to work and to put uh, in force our recommendations. Bolnicite za psihijatrija se mnogo mnogo problematični. Praktično na vistina situacija je alarmantna, katastrofalna. Yes, we noted uh, we visited uh, um, uh, two psychiatric hospitals, uh, uh, Demir Hisar and uh, Skopje uh, psychiatric hospitals. And uh, unfortunately, as we mentioned in the report, once again, despite some improvements in material conditions, once again, we found metal chains, that patients were uh, uh, tied with metal chains at the Mikisar. And at Skopje Psychiatric Hospital, we found an informal segregation unit at the forensic ward where patients were segregated indefinitely without necessarily any medical uh, uh, decision for being segregated without access to uh, outdoor exercise and access, without access to fresh air. And uh, this uh, segregation unit was under the control of the uh, private uh, security staff. So we call uh, the uh, we call upon the authorities anyway to end and to um, revise 
the op modus operandi of this segregation unit as copy of psychiatric hospitals. So that was also anyway reported by the media, as you know, anyway, in the in the previous months.